The purpose of my submission to the Palantir Fellowship is to demonstrate the capability of Palantir's tools to develop consumer applications. So this is an AI agent for Excel. And what you can see here is I'm essentially using the idea of an ontology and an object model and applying it to the actual components of an Excel workbook. So for every worksheet, there can be pivot tables, charts, list objects. When you look at a product like Microsoft Copilot, it only allows you to interact with about one third of the Excel object model. And what I've done with the ontology allows you to get extremely granular. So every worksheet might have an Excel chart, which has a chart series and chart data points, and you're able to pinpoint exactly what you want to see in cells down to the borders, textile, and really everything else. So now I'm loading in an Excel file. This is some fake credit card data. What you can see here at the top is we are loading in using the ontology SDK, the actual components that exist within this spreadsheet. So we have the 306 cells that are getting processed. And once that happens, it's going to process a summary of our existing workbook to make it easier for the language models to interact with it. Our accountant is asking us to provide them with indexed business and personal expenses. You can see now that the workbook has been fully sent to Palantir, we get a list of the ontology objects. I should probably change the name of this worksheet, but right now it's called new text document. Apply conditional formatting to the business or personal expense types. Change the amount format number formatting to currency. So we're going to go ahead and send our request. We can come back on over to Palantir so I can show you what is actually happening in the background here. So I'm loading our new workbook, which you can see now. It has our worksheet, our 306 cells. It has our summary, which you can't see the entire thing of. And right now it's generating an agent plan that will come in in just a moment. So it generated this summary with an AIP logic function, allowing it to query the workbook, worksheet, and all of the cells. And it responded by adding the workbook summary, editing the ontology of the workbook. Now we're creating the agent plan, which again queries anything that's in the Excel object model, provides the instructions from the user, uses Claude Sonnet 3.5 to create the agent plan which you can see here now. This is the plan for the agent to go ahead and complete. So I'll show you what it's going to be doing next. It's gonna be creating these plan steps, creating the code that is necessary, and then it's gonna create the steps and go ahead and execute those, taking in the ontology as needed. So here we are with the result. This looks fantastic. It has frozen the top row, indeed it did, and it has applied a table style to the data range, and it's applied conditional formatting. Looks great. As you can see, the conditional, I mean, maybe I would have chosen a different color and blue, but otherwise looks good. It formatted the amount column as currency. Fantastic. It even added these filter tooltips that were not there before. So we can even click this and say, we just want to look at business expenses. This is absolutely ready to go off to my accountant. It's almost time for tax season. Thank you very much.